Okay then my friends, so now we have a brand new Flutter application and we're running that application over here in the Android emulator, which is cool. But if you're new to Flutter, when you first look at all these folders and files over here, and when you look at the code in this main.dart file, it's pretty normal to feel a little bit overwhelmed with it all because there's a hell of a lot of stuff going on in this file tree for what is meant to be a bare bones new project. And also in this main.dart file as well. But to be honest, especially when you're first starting out, you can ignore probably 95% of this crap over here because it's not gonna be stuff that you need to edit or change much. Pretty much everything you'll be focused on is gonna live inside this lib folder, which is where all of your application source code is gonna live. And this is where the main.dart file lives as well. Now the main.dart file is a special file in Flutter applications, and it's always gonna contain this main function as well. The job of this function is to kind of kickstart your application and it runs automatically to begin with. Within that function, we also have another function called the run app. And this is the function that actually starts to run the application for us. It takes in an argument, which is known as a root widget. In this case, it's called my app. And that widget is actually defined down here in the same file. Now, don't worry too much about what I might mean by widget or root widget. We're going to discuss that in more detail in the next lesson. For now, just know that this main.dart file, this main function, and therein this run app function is basically the entry point for the application, which kind of just kickstarts everything. Okay. Further down this file, we're basically just fleshing out what is essentially the app itself. So we have the roots my app widget, and inside that we have something called a material app. We have theme data, a homepage widget. Uh, homepage state widgets and so forth. Again, don't worry about what all this means right now because we're going to be deleting this data code later on and going through everything one step at a time, okay? So hopefully, next time you make a Flutter project, you're going to fully understand what each and everything in this data code does right here. For now, just don't think too much about it. Anyway, that's the main.dart file inside this lib folder, which is where you'll be doing like 95% of your work. But what about the rest of these folders and files then? So some of these folders like the Android folder and the Windows folder contain platform specific files, which we don't use manually when we're making Flutter apps, but they are used under the hood by Flutter for running or publishing applications. The build folder contains files built by Flutter, which again, we don't really need to edit or use ourselves manually. The test folder is for running application tests. The folders at the top with a dot in front of them are folders with config files inside them, which we, again, don't need to change. We've got a git ignore file for version control, some other config files, and also a pubspec file as well, which we'll be using later on to do things like list project dependencies and also specifying paths to static assets we might use like images. So again, most of this stuff you don't really need to focus too much on. The battlegrounds are going to be inside the lib folder. And this is where you'll be doing most of your coding. Now inside this folder, we'll also be making other files and maybe other folders as well. Now how you structure those files and folders is down to what kind of application you're making as well as your own personal preference, I guess. But you'll probably see folders called screens, pages or services, shared maybe in other people's projects. And all of those folders are just there to organize the application code. So it's really up to you how you structure everything, but I'll be showing you how I structure my application as we go through the course. Anyway, that was just a very quick tour, yes, an introduction to this new starter project. So hopefully you've got maybe a slightly better understanding of what everything is, but don't worry too much about it all now. In the next lesson, we're gonna talk about the key building blocks to every Flutter application, which is widgets.